Hey guys, how's it going? It's Tetraside here again, and we're going to do a basic tutorial on how to install the plugin and the uh, the basic config file. Going through there and seeing how exactly to um, configure it the way you want. Uh, and just as a reference here um, for my RPG, this is only working for um, the beta build for 1.6.2 it is not working for 1.6.4 or any of the other development builds although he will be having a release for uh, the recommended build 1.6.2 and hopefully soon 1.6.4 all right let's get on to it I've already downloaded the file let me uh, pull it up here this is how you install it if you have a server you just need to connect to your server via FTP um, I have which is what I have here with the filezilla um, however if you have your own server like uh, playing off your computer this is basically whatever folder you have your server files on um, and we need to go into plugins let me go down here where all these are and we need to look for my RPG and throw it over here. My server is shut down currently. So it's a quick install. And let's go ahead and start this baby back up. So I'm gonna start it up and then I'm gonna shut it down again. And this is because I have multi worlds on my server and I don't want this to be the primary um, plugin when people come on and play um, so I have to configure it that way <laughs> basically so I'm gonna refresh my FTP here and here's the my RPG folder inside the plugins folder let's go in there and we're gonna need to go into my config and config of course we're gonna view and edit best tool to do this stuff in is with uh, notepad plus plus best thing you could get for yourself so it looks clean like this all right <clears throat> now you can change um, the language from English to um, German or from German to English those are the only two that are currently supported and it does look like there will be Spanish support soon as well as there's someone that put in a ticket for it this is uh, put this to true if you want to use the Minecraft level um, as their actual characters level. And I'm gonna, just going to keep it at true. And you do want to use Vault. If you don't have Vault, I recommend you have that regardless. You, every server should have Vault for their server. This is the level that a player can choose a class and this is customizable by you I usually just put zero I'd like to play or I'd like the player to be able to choose their class and and race when they start out I think that that's fair but it's totally up to you it can be whatever you'd like but like I said I'd like to have it at zero um, this is the chat formatting and I like to keep it the way it is and you can change it how, however else you want just put world if you want the world to be displayed and things like that it pulls from the um, I believe the bucket um, coding as well and that's how it's able to pull things like this um, this is the mathematic rule for leveling and you should probably just keep it like this um, unless you know exactly what you're doing when it comes to changing these um, this will be um, how you how quickly or slowly you level up um, per level and disable PvP um, it says here disable PvP enemy guilds can still attack each other players can still fight in duels if this is false guild fights and duels are senseless or useless is probably what he should have put there um, basically you should keep um, PvP off unless you just want people to fight whenever um, this is to allow um, you know so that 
guilds, you know, if there's an enemy, someone that you see from an enemy guild out there, you can attack them at any time. Um, but you won't be able to, if you have disabled PvP on, then you won't be able to fight each other. And that's why he has duels there for, so that you can duel someone within your own guild, which is kind of cool. So you can keep it disabled, um, or you can just enable it so that anybody can kill each other at any time. Like I said, they have it there so that you can configure it however. Now this is to disable it per world. Um, personally I think you should have it to where it's enabled, you know, it's disabled initially and then you can enable it in each world, but it's not a big problem. I'm just going to list pretty much every single one except for the uh, the one I need it in. Uh, plot world. It's creative and omega. And there's six there. Okay. So I have seven worlds and there's only six listed here. I say only. Um, so it will be disabled in all these worlds. I don't want P I don't want the RPG plugin installed in any of them except for the world that I have called Ascend. All right, and economy. If you would like to use the um, the economy for from the plugin, which is my economy, you can leave this at true. But I have essentials already, and people have been using the essentials economy, so I'm going to set this to false. Uh, you can choose between money and emeralds as a source as the uh, as the economy or the currency, should I say? Uh, so you can change this from money to emeralds if you want pe if you want people to earn emeralds and this also goes as far as emerald blocks um, when they kill entities basically if they kill a cow if they kill a person if they kill a creeper um, different things will drop and you can change the name of the currency it doesn't have to be dollar it doesn't have to be euro it can be um, my RPG coins <laughs> It's totally up to you what you want to call it. And then you can um, set their start balance of how, however much people want to start out with. Um, but if you have it false, none of this matters here. Items and permissions. Uh, item levels is enabled or is disabled by default. Uh, these are the minimum levels um, that you have to I guess B in order to use them um, and each of these items are completely configurable by you and you can add items if you'd like um, but I'm gonna keep it at false players with this level will be moved into this group level and I guess if you reach a this okay so I guess if you if you want them to um, move up from peasant to knight you know they start out level 0 peasant and then level 10 they're knight you can um, set that here where 5 is actually going to be 10 for the level 10 and then this is going to be the name of the group which will have to be um, defined in your permissions file um, your permissions plugin should I say and then da, 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 all players who should not be moved into one of these groups these are basically all the people that are exempt um, individually exempt from being moved into the groups and these are basically all the testers and things I'm a tester too um, but it's not too big of a problem I'm not, I'm not worried about it <laughs> alright and this is the guilds portion of it this is the minimum level you have to be in order to join a guild this is the minimum level you have to be to create a guild. This is the price you have to have, or not the price, this is the amount of money or currency you have to have in order to create a guild. And this is the price to create a guard for your guild. Um, it's not just one, you can buy multiple if you'd like. Um, after this time, every member of the guild receives an interest, which is basically you receive money um, every so um, every whatever this is this is uh, so this is one hour 60 minutes so every one hour you will get um, see level one gets five 
just say five dollars and eleven dollars and twenty dollars and forty three dollars um, and this is what is this because I've never had to actually mess with this max member amount okay I'm I'm sorry I, I feel a little noob looking at this this must have been a suggestion um, and he added it in there I guess you can mess around with it um, this is the amount of money okay this is the amount of money that they get in for each level this is the level this is the amount of money and max member okay I guess only certain amount of people in that guild like certain amount in the guild will be able to have it sounds kinda weird but um, I don't really wanna test that right now <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and save this. I'm gonna close it out, finish editing, and delete local file. It's gonna re-upload that to here. Now values, they go in here. You don't have to do anything like this. This is the experience and uh, and money spread of monsters, as it says. Um, if you if it's killed by a player and the blocks have destroyed. So if you have um, the economy enabled, this these are the defined values, essentially, and you can define them as you see fit. Um, and I've already gone into how to um, do classes and races in another tutorial, and um, just look at my previous video, it'll be there. And I'll do quests another time on how to do that and I will also do a video on how to create NPCs and let's go ahead and start up the server real quick and we're gonna see this baby in action Boom. waiting for it to start up here there it is multiplayer Logging in. I'm going to do a test and there we have it and make sure I can see this here yeah all right I'm gonna enlarge the window here for you uh, this is the uh, this is the chat format here if you do a test this is actually good if you see all this here uh, the zero indicates my level and there's a space before that because that will be uh, indicating what uh, race you are well with the default it will tell you what race you are when you pick a race from the priest which is in the uh, in that other video as well so uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful if it wasn't uh, please let me know what your questions are or if you have any concerns or if you have any complaints or or other issues going on um, I can come check in them out I am um, a tester on there and even if I wasn't an official tester if you wanted to you know if, if you're not getting a fast enough response time on why something's not working or if nobody's helping you out um, I will try to help you out the best I can but I cannot guarantee you that uh, I can fix it <laughs> so um, but for the most part it is um, something really easy to fix and the future builds that are coming out are going to be really good um, the shop and everything in his future features that he's put on there um, they're pretty amazing and I really like it a lot so I think you guys will like it too once it officially releases alright guys thanks for watching and I'll see you later